We have also all witnessed in recent months a deterioration of the security situation on the Korean Peninsula, which has featured threats from the People's Democratic Republic of Korea to resume missile tests and even to use nuclear weapons. We see signs of an arms race in South Asia involving fissile material production and the competitive development of both nuclear-capable missiles and nuclear weapons. We see that sustained diplomatic efforts to encourage Iran to fulfill its responsibilities under Security Council resolutions have so far failed to yield a resolution of ongoing concerns over its nuclear activities. The international community continues to be faced with major proliferation challenges by the DPRK, Iran and Syria. These must be addressed in a resolute way in order to maintain the credibility and effectiveness of the NPT regime. In this context, the EU underlines the primary responsibility of the UN Security Council for the maintenance of international peace and security, including in cases of non-compliance. The EU strongly urges the DPRK to abandon all its existing nuclear and ballistic missile programs in a complete, verifiable and irreversible manner. We strongly condemn the DPRK's aggressive rhetoric, including repeated threats of the use of force. The EU also calls on the DPRK to refrain from any further provocations and to return to full compliance with the NPT and IAEA safeguards obligations. Continued breaking of its international obligations by the DPRK that threaten stability in the region will inevitably lead to an ever more united response by the international community. In the case of Iran, the EU remains deeply concerned about its nuclear program and continues to be engaged in renewed efforts aimed at finding a negotiated solution. Our objective remains to reach a comprehensive long-term settlement, which would restore international confidence in the exclusively peaceful nature of Iran's nuclear program, ensuring that Iran is in compliance with all its obligations under the NPT, as well as relevant UNSC and IAEA Board of Governors resolutions, while fully respecting its right to peaceful uses of nuclear energy. <coughs>